A, be a beautiful day here in the complex office. We're actually getting some sun for yeah. once. Working yeah. on my working on my tan, tan boys. Tan boys. Uh, yeah, tan boys. Here, here with here with the tan boys general himself, Bodega Bams. We appreciate you stopping by. Talk a little bit of Reebok with us. Let's get it. You know I'm the Reebok spokesperson. You know all right, all right. What are we talking about today? The uh, Soul Fury. Soul right? Fury. You know what I'm saying? You see how furious I look with these on. You know what I'm saying? Got the socks popping out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nice mm -hmm. lime green. Do you like that split sole one? Is it comfortable on your foot? I do, man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I was running on a treadmill with these. Okay. You do some fitness? Hell yeah. I'm the fitness guru out here, man. The, the good. Splits, you want to see what's on my shirt? It's kind of like the, the story with this one, right? The split sole goes all the way back to 1992 90s. with Reebok, the, 92, the 94, graphite yeah. pump, and then of course the Insta Pump Fury, a sneaker yep. that you know you can still see kind of how ahead of its time it was because this shoe uses some of the same technology and still manages to look modern. What was the young Bodega Bams doing in 1994? Oh man, I was being a badass in school. I already told myself I was going to finish high school in 94. Mm -hmm. And I was like eight years old. Do you want to take it back to 94 for a second? See what your memories are of 94 style? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, I'm not sure how historically accurate this yeah. is, but we have some people who, who actually were wearing Reeboks back then that we want to They were actually you. wearing this shoe. It's like some Back to the Future shit. Tupac here wearing the uh, Reebok Soul Fury. What? You think he did his thing there? I ain't gonna lie, no, he did not do, wow. do his Why thing. Not? We don't want this to become a controversy. God, this God is bless not, the this dead. Is not Bodega Bams dissing Tupac. Yeah, no, yo. First and For, foremost, yeah, I'm no not Lil dissing, on this side. Nah, I'm not dissing Tupac, but All my right. boy wasn't doing that. He looking like a cowboy with the Reeboks on. The 1994 MTV Music Video Awards where Snoop came out, Murder Was the Case, wow. in, the, in the wheelchair. And but, in the, but, yeah. in the Soul Furies. Wow. Wouldn't even crease him up like that. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm paying attention more to his perm than the Reeboks. You know what I'm saying? You think a but, perm like that could work on me? Like, well, that's what? a fit though, right? That, you know, that's it, a good that's fit. That's a good fit. That's a good fit, man. Yeah, man. When you got Bill Clinton himself, Slick Willie, going out running. You see, <laughs> I see Bill Clinton wearing the Reeboks, I'm going out to bother. He getting a hand in the Oval Office, <laughs> probably with Reeboks on. I need to get that. That's the only cosign you need? That's the only cosign I need. Bill Clinton. I, Tupac, I love you. Snoop, you the man. But if Bill Clinton wear Reeboks, I'm wearing it in 94. Was this a good shoe to wear to the bodega? Absolutely, man. It's a good shoe to step on roaches in the bodega. This is a good shoe to, to shoe the cat in the bodega. Mm -hmm. Yo, bro, these are the bona fide getting money. I'm a hustler, D-boy, whatever you call yourself on the corner. Uh, just YouTube star. I don't want to sound like I'm not too old. But he's, I the, he's the resident dinosaur, so you're, yeah, you're yeah. not. You don't have anything you? to worry about. Uh, we'll bleep it don't out. Don't worry about it. I'm oh, you're old, man. <laughs> but yeah, man, I, I like these sneakers because they're very like I said, they're comfortable. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm I'm to the age where I don't give a fuck about fashion. Mm -hmm. Cause when you wake up and you a fashion icon. Matt Welty feels the same way. Yeah. Uh, the, the first part, I don't know about the second part. <laughs> How do you think the shoe manages to still look relevant in terms of that technology? Well, I think it's always gonna look relevant. I think who wears the shoe makes it look more relevant than what it is. And I feel like that's what's important. Yo, bro, if you put this shoe on both they got bams, people gonna say, what the fuck is this? Okay. Maybe if he put it on, it might be the total opposite, brother. I ain't Trinidad gonna hold you. Why he not even here right now, bro? He got beef with me? Uh, we'll, we'll definitely figure that out. Yeah, we gotta talk about that, man. I will, I will send him a text. And this is a strong fall pickup. I think we can all agree the sneaker's actually yeah. available now on Reebok.com. $90 is the price. Bams, thank you so much for coming through. Thank you, man. Chat, I'm out of here, man. Chat the Reebok Soul Fury with us on this sunny afternoon, man. We appreciate it. Thank you, man. That's a full size. That's a full size. She 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 won every color. That's a full size. What's up, folks? Hey, how hey, we feeling? Hey. What's happening? What's up? What's happening What's in up? the building? Go ahead, okay. Trinidad. How What's is up? everybody? How we feeling? How's how's Complex Con so far? You guys? No. You... Wow. All right. All right. Who got the heat on, man? That's what I care about, man. I ain't trying to have all this. Who got some heat on today? All right. All right. Okay. I see all some right. cactus. Okay. All right. Now, we're um, having a great time, man. I'm happy that everybody came out. We really appreciate it, man. We're absolutely. Have a great time. We have an awesome guest. I want everybody to show so much love because she's awesome. We, you love us. We love y'all. Let's have a great they, show today. Do they love us? They don't, don't love you. They love me. <laughs> hey, come on. Um, thank you. Thank you to every single member of the FS Army watching uh, at home and also here in the building with us. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. James. That's right. We're here shooting live at Complex Con. I don't know if you guys know, it's a bit of a bit of a sweet and a sad moment for us because it's actually the season finale episode. <sighs> so you get the uh, exquisite treat of uh, experiencing it live. If, 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 live if you don't here. want a huge bag for the next uh, <laughs> 
Yeah, Jeez. definitely. There let, you go. You counting pockets yeah, already. Let early. The what? complex what? leadership know that we Jesus. should be coming back next season. Um, and we do, as alluded to, have a very special guest with us today. Please, please give a warm welcome to Lena Waif coming to the stage now. There she hey. is in the building. Let's go. Let's go. Lena, is this your first complex con? No, I was here last year. Okay, so you already know how it goes. Yes, it's craziness. I fight anyone for sneakers last I year. Here you go. Anybody. He on this shit. I didn't fight anybody. You had the plug. I, I, stared some people down a couple times and I said, <laughs> give me those. I got like um, the push of T's. Okay. Um, nice. You get those Union Jordan 1s last year? Uh, I did. I did. I'm very grateful. Chris hooked it up. Um, uh, Chris thing. Gibbs, come on the show. Uh, yeah. Chris. You should, Chris. Like, Chris come on. He's great. They kill some new ones. You yes. see? Yeah, you know what time it is. To the text. Coming um, soon. Hit the trigger meter for Wealthy on that one, by the yeah. way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just saw Jerry, Jerry Lorenzo. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. In the other, other, other green room. <laughs> Influencers are uh, far more important than ourselves, uh, me anyway. <laughs> Lena, we're going to talk about sneakers. We're going to talk about the projects you have going on. Cool. I think the first thing we want to talk about here in terms of sneaker news. The Nike Kyrie 5. Trinidad, you got any strong opinions about these? Um, I love Kyrie, but I'm going to be honest with you, it's not for me. Really? This one, this, he did, I thought why, you were a bad one. I thought you played basketball. Um, I don't like the shoe. You know I mean? I, I like things that like have a good build to it and look good. And you can wear that it doesn't look good to you? I will hoop in these. I would definitely hoop in these. Would you get buckets? Of course I would. <laughs> Lena, how do you, you feel about these? After the, the Kyrie show? 5. I mean, here's the thing. Th that shoe is, fits a little too snug for mm. my taste. Mm. I like a, obviously I got this wide one on. I like a little bit more comfort. Mm -hmm. And I wear shoes to kick my feet up in, so. As you're doing right now. Exactly. Hey. What, are, what are we wearing Those today, are the four way? fives on the back. These, these are the uh, the new joints that'll be coming out. Are you supposed to be showing everyone those yet? In or? December. Uh, like, I, where I, are you I, the, something? I think it's okay. Friends Look, and family, you know. let's go. <laughs> you know, are you going to get a call from Reggie later? Like, yo. Like, yeah, shout uh, out Reggie. Come on the look, show. Look, Reggie, Reggie know what's up. That's my dude. I was like, I said, they we, they hooked it up. I played a part in the, something that's coming up uh, later. I oh, can't say. Oh, okay. But you want to spill some secrets? I cannot. That I won't do because you All know right. how Jordan Brand gets. No, we'll edit it out in post. Uh, please do. <laughs> Jordan Brand, uh, they take good care of me. And um, yeah, this is one of my all time favorite sneakers, particularly this colorway. And mm -hmm. I'm so happy they re released it because it's like, it's dope. And you tweeted once a number of years ago that you would know the moment that you made it was when you got free Jordans ahead of their release date. Yes. And, and here we he are. He did his research. <laughs> he was ready. I see, and I, I think see. you probably thought at some point the moment you would make it was when you were on full size run. Obviously. Live accomplishment. Obviously. So, now know. it's happened. It's official, right? Yes. Forget, forget the Spielberg movie. It's, it's all the Emmy. Yeah. This is the moment right this here. This is it right here. <laughs> but what was the first pair of Jordans you got early then? If you remember like the package you got? I think. you got the detective hat the on. The official. Yeah. Turn your hat back. I think these may be the official ones that I really got. They sent me a couple pair mm -hmm. that were early, but I think because these just you enjoy it so while it lasts because it'll end. It'll end. I know. It'll end, I, know. know. I, I upset some people with Jordan. You just right killed now, I think, it. And, you, know, <laughs> you know when your fame is starting to dwindle when you don't get the, the Jordans. You're like, oh man, I got to work harder. I got to put another show out. I'm going to work harder. <laughs> so, so, I, got, I, got, I got a question for you though. Yeah. Have you ever resold sneakers? Have I resold sneakers? Yeah. No, I don't sell them. I don't do that. Oh, it's okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. I, I'm not. Pay him no attention. He's a little slow. That's my oh, cousin. Oh, I, I either give him away or you know, or I just hold on to him. Mm -hmm. Bless your heart. Yeah. So let's change the topic a little yeah. bit. Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I love Allen Iverson. I grew up on Allen Iverson. You love Allen Iverson. Make some noise right now if you like Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who will be? Who will be on the Sneaker of the Year panel? Sneaker of the Year panel. Who's Alan gonna Iverson. be more lit on the panel? You or Allen Iverson? I don't know. If I have a couple shots after this, I might beat him. <laughs> That's right. That's that fair. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> Alan I'm Iverson is coming out with a new shoe. It's the Iverson Legacy. Am I right on that? That's right. November Love 17th, it. I think it's coming out. It's kind of a mixture of uh, the first four answers and yes, the sir. question. It's not really like a, a truly new performance basketball mm -hmm. shoe. They're kind of going this retro route with it. I think that kind of makes sense for Reebok, right? No, I mean, just in general, first of all, I feel like Alan Iverson, and if I'm wrong, you will correct me, um, <laughs> yeah. is the Michael Jordan of Reebok. From the standpoint of somebody who he's the closest they have. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Like if it was somebody you want to put the brand behind when it comes to being an athlete, I would say Allen Iverson, my personal opinion. So I think in the write up for the shoe, he also spoke on being able to have a legacy like Jordan. But right. when you were when you were a kid, and you saw Iverson cross up Jordan. What what did you think when you saw that? Mm -hmm. Every, um, I love Jordan so much that it's like you make an excuse for your dad. It's like, did your that dad break your heart? Because you're like from Chicago, right, Lena? Exactly. Did that of hurt course, for you? It broke every Chicago's heart. But yeah. like, yeah. who is this motherfucker? <laughs> 
And why so you don't trust Allen Iverson? Bears and our hero. Did that hurt? Did that um, hurt you? Did so that hurt like seeing that? Uh, or? yeah. It's like it was watching your like dad watching lose Muhammad a fight. Ali fight past his prime. It was like, what mm. is going on? We still love Iverson just because of what he represented. He was literally like, if uh, he was the rapper of like basketball players, basically. Mm, sure. Kind of like uh, what Matt Welty is to YouTube. Got it. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Understood. Uh, Mixtape mix <laughs> coming soon. Guys. Yeah, I can't wait for the drop. Speaking of more Chicago shit, or maybe Calabasas shit, uh, oh, there's Jesus a lot Christ. of Yeezys dropping in November. You got the Zebras coming out. Right, you restocking. The, you got the track uh -huh. pants coming out. Uh -huh, and you have uh -huh. the Sesame 350s and the Salt in the Wound 500s, maybe a little bit. Salt in the Wound? Yeah. yeah. Can I get, oh, we have a drummer in the building to do a little. Yeah. Worst take. The worst take, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Is that too many Yeezys? I think Lena. so. Yeah? I it, think I think the colorways are getting ridiculous. But is Kanye <laughs> dead to you? <laughs> no, no, he's just the cousin at the family reunion that, you know, was under the, you know, sun, you in the sun to too long. Maybe for you, the Nike Yeezy is more of like a Yeezy that you were into? That's true. I do have a little bit more love for the, the Nike Yeezy. I think, I don't know, I think the- That felt more Chicago to me. Yeah, and I, yeah, because it was mm. also so influenced by Gordon. Okay. Like, I got the Red Octobers, I got, because I think there's something about it that was Woo. so monumental Flex. about, they, they were worth a lot. They were, it was like a, pay, it was payment for something I did for SneakerCon. Oh, look at uh, that. Yeah, look look at like, that. come do this thing. You ever got paid in Red Octobers? No. No, I, don't, I think that, guys, do you guys care about all the easies that's coming out this month? I would rather ask the people. What do, do you guys care? think? Like, are you happy? Are you excited? Do you want to run the aisles and get no. naked, or you don't care? No. They're like, whatever. And I don't even think it has anything to do with his his, um, his behavior of late. Right. I think it's just there's an exhaustion. To me, there has to be a bit, at least of a story behind it. There's no story behind this shoe. This is just a You're, you're trying to money. tell some stories about shoes, too, right? You have you have a show coming up uh, that's, that's about sneakers, basically, yeah. that none of us are in? Yeah. <laughs> you never know. We haven't started filming yet. I may, we, I may so show up. It could be. Is there like, maybe a bag involved? No, she's yeah. probably just going to hit up Trinidad. Like, he gets, he gets a special I mean, look at my outfit. I'll call me, too. <laughs> what you mean? Deal. You Got it. You know. Have all three of y'all yeah, talk about same, it. Same representation. Yeah, no, it's called uh, You Ain't Got These. Uh -huh. And we're doing it with Jeffrey Katzenberg's um, new platform, which is all about short-form content. So you can tell a story. Get the bag. Yeah. <laughs> Get the bag. Yeah, Get yeah. A little bit, a little bit. But pretty much, you know, the people that do Chef's Table, I don't know if y'all watch Chef's Table on Netflix, really cool show about motherfuckers cooking. Cooking Beautiful. like as in buying shoes or cooking no, as in cooking like cooking actually? No, cooking as in cooking like food Frank that's cooking. very expensive yeah, that Cook. most of us probably can't afford to go again. have. Uh, uh. Uh, but, but it's shot really well and they tell stories really well. So they were interested in making a show about sneakers. They asked me to come on board and I said, well, I'm only going to do it if we actually talk about the what's underneath the surface about why I think particularly children of color go buy sneakers. And so those are the kind of conversations I want to have. It's like when we put these shoes on and we look at each other and we kind of nod, it's us wanting to be seen. First, I just want to have the latest shoe. I want to ask you a question about Jordans. Go going into the tweets again, you've tweeted about sneakers a lot. We found mm -hmm. one that you said that you don't understand low top Jordans. I don't. So I kind of, of agree with you on this one. Waste of time, actually. basically, right? Like just. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I don't like the look of them. I don't know. When you put on a Jordan, you kind of want it to be a little high up. And if I want to do low top, I'm going to do Vans. Well, do you ever put on like a pair that. of Jordans? Yes. <laughs> I think my foot, like, yes. I started to get, like, ankle problems. Is it the ankle thing? Okay, so. No, 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 no. I'm just, like, my feet were starting to corrode a little bit. So I had to take That's why you don't wear Jordans? That's you run. That's the <laughs> <laughs> Those are sneakers that suck. But let's talk about good sneakers. What do you mm -hmm. think sneaker of the year? I mean, you guys are going to be, you, two of you are going to be debating it. Yeah. We later. were not invited okay. to that panel. So I don't know, <laughs> I know. don't know how that I'm happened. surprised he got invited to what? the panel. What? I'm not surprised. <laughs> I think they got like a discounted rate to get you on there. That's why. No. Yeah. No. I love it. I love it. Keep that energy <laughs> now. Keep that energy. Are you going to give Wale smoke on stage? I got to give him smoke oh, on stage. Just because of you. <laughs> I can't wait to get a couple shots in him. Uh -huh. Anyway, to me, this is Nike's year. It's very hard for us as consumers and influencers like yourself, <laughs> bread and done, to be able to appreciate somebody's at the top all the time or whatever. So like we take it for granted, take it for granted. And I feel like sometimes the we feel like, man, the company's losing morale. They're dropping weak stuff that we don't like. This year they realized like, now nah, we got to come with it because we are Nike and they came with it. And I'm very happy because I grew up Nike. I grew up in a Nike shoebox. Yeah. So really? it was like, that, that was like, that was your, that was no, your bedroom? No, I hate you, but it's cool. Can we yeah. all say what our sneaker of the year is though? What, do you want to do? Are we going to give it no, 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 I didn't say man. that. No. I want the people no, to no, come back. Got got or, what are you talking about? Pass, man. Do you have one? Is it a pair of You can say yours since they won't see you later. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wow. What What's yours? What's your sneaker of the year? What is it? My sneaker of the year? Yes, sir. Yeah. Curious. Smidgey Owls. Yeah, probably. <laughs> in general, there's no one yeah. singular. I mean, I really like those, the Gary Warnett waterproof shoe, um, whatever, which we'll maybe wear those a little later today. Yeah. Um, I like the, the Spezial uh, ZX730, really like that shoe. 
you had like the bait trucks in Chicago. And yeah, you, you know, that was crazy. You had like Vic Mensa, nice. you know, and Don C giving out shoes yeah. to the community afterwards. Yeah, you a involved lot of, in that or yeah, a lot of folks in the shy crew. Yeah, we 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 and um, and common like we we all we also had those conversations. We're like, yo, let's just give shoes away and all kind of stuff. But also, again, I think that speaks to the culture, the fact that that is like such a hot commodity in these um, neighborhoods that that they, the fact that they can use sneakers as bait, <laughs> I, know, I right? think, tells you something That's about crazy. where we are as a culture and That's society. Crazy. I don't appreciate that. One. Yeah, I mean, at all. It's like really fucking. You're nice. they were gonna catch you just trying to. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah, all right, guys, nah, we want to talk about bad, we want to talk about the worst take. I mean, every week here on the show, we punish someone from the last week for, for the most ridiculous thing that happened. Okay. Um, oh, we, we let yeah. the, the viewers decide that. I think oh. it's actually going to Wealthy, who it almost always goes surprise, to, man. for that, uh, <laughs> that very questionable run offset you had. Go! Go, go run! Go, man. Run, man! Go ahead, oh, the Wealthy run. That's a meme for sure. Listen, if y'all in the comments don't take advantage of that little fuck. Oh, my God. Uh, wealthy, it. Take it. As, as your punishment, you have to wear these. Please let us know in the comments for this episode uh, who had the worst take on this one, and we'll punish them, I guess, next season since this, this is, is the season finale. Yeah. Uh-uh. Wealthy, wealthy, put the shoes on. Come on, man. Don't delay. Don't, don't. Get it right, man. Come on. You want some water? Ah. Put the shoes on. And are we making him wear these for the rest of Complex Con? What do you guys say? I say you do. He, he deserves it. That's actually comfortable, though. <laughs> he about to be lit. I'm the coziest person on stage right now, man. Oh, good. My feet feel like they ate an edible. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Didn't we all before he we can't wait to eat an edible. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, Lena, we do on a segment on our show called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Love it. Drip being looking good, feeling great. Everybody, if you look good, feel great. Make some noise for yourself out there. Hey. Flip being a lot of what's going on on the com- on the complex on floor right now. Flipping making you some money out okay, here. Okay, I got you. And then Skip is we not messing with it at all. Got you. Okay. So the first shoe we're doing is the Zebra Yeezys restocks. It's Drip Flipper Skip. How you feel about that one? Uh, well, I have these in my collection, mm-hmm. um, and I do think it's one of the coolest colorways of this particular shoe. So I'm gonna say Drip. It's a drip, drip for you. Huh? Drip, uh, I, I, I think it's a skip just off the fact that like that was the, the Yeezy that I feel like everybody got. Yeah. Last year though, remember we said that's a shoe you shouldn't wear to Complex Con uh, oh, last yeah, year. I'm, I'm skipping these. Uh, I actually do have a pair in, in my collection in right now. I'm but, still uh, calling I've the drip. I've never seen you wear Yeezys before. <laughs> I'm calling them the drip. Just in case. Moving forward, man. The, so we got the Jordan 3 chlorophyll. Yep. I'm going to start with Lena. You're a Jordan lady. What you, how you feel? I'm going to skip these just because I get Are you allowed to say that? Uh, yeah. She just said. What you think? Yeah, Sorry, look, Reggie. they, Reggie, know Sorry, Reggie. I'm going to keep it 100 all the time. I respect um, that. Look, I, to me, it, this falls into the category of like way too many colorways. Mm. So I'm good. Mm. What about you, sir? Uh, I said this before in the show. I actually like this one quite a bit. I think that uh, a lot of the Jordan 3 colorways uh, are just too colorful in general. I think this one is nice and toned down. To and go with your sweatshirt. It's not. <laughs> FSR. You got it. You got it. Get off merch, guys. That's a drip for me. What about you, sir? What, what, what do you say yourself? Oh, I'm going to say that it's a flip. Is uh, you could resell that shoe? I mean, if I was back in my day out there with the campers, <laughs> I could resell anything. I thought you sold yeah, fake you shoes. You resell a lot of fake shoes. I don't know. Nah, <laughs> man, relax. He used to that sell fake shoes. That's a, that's, that's a true Word? story. So what is it? Right. Surprisingly enough, I actually think this shoe is drip. It's not surprising. Look what you got on right now. <laughs> ah. Moving forward, we Next. got the Multicolor Ultra Boost from mm-hmm. Adidas. I'm going to start with you, sir, since you're Adidas man. The Drip first the first time I had this shoe, this shoe was a flip. I mean, <laughs> you cashed you out were, early? Oh, yeah. I made like $550 on that shoe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so what is it now? Uh, now it's a skip because I don't skip? think anybody cares about Lena? It's a anymore. skip for me just because that's not my steez, but mm. those Adidas are comfy, though. Wait, well, come on. With the rain, you had the all rainbow outfit at I the Met Gala. Imagine these you on the feet You could have worn those exactly. to the Met Gala. I'm, your, I'm you know, trying yeah. to help you out. What about I, you, sir? Is it a drip yeah. or skip, bro? Yeah. Uh, I'm skipping these. I also have these already. It's a skip for me. That's <laughs> a skip. Yeah, it's a skip. Next, we got the Jordan 33. It's like China, a China exclusive colorway for Guo. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna start with these. I would say that these are the drip to hoop in, man. I'm, I'm sorry, these are the drip to hoop in. I, w- I want to hoop in these. This colorway. You're gonna get the strap. <laughs> drip flip or skip, sir? It's a skip. Lena? Here's the thing. I, they, Jordan sent me these guys in the original colorway. Mm-hmm. Right, white, black, I, I, and red. I think you need to go 
a, like a half size up because right okay. now they fit way too snug. So that would be my advice. If you do get these, get a half size up. Get so a it's a little bit more Public comfy. service announcement. Um, yes, always. I'm, this is the first time I'm seeing this colorway. So I'm going to say drip because it actually looks dope. I would just get it a bit, a bit of a bigger size. What about you say? Is this? Um, it, it's it's very, very close to a drip for me. I just don't know if I would pay full retail for it. I get so so I, I could it. Right, flip or skip? Mm. This is good. All right, so moving forward, we also do outfits. Okay. And so we're going to do our buddy Drake. He has a what are oh, these? Okay. Nike Our shocks. buddies? He's not my buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I like to think of him as my buddy. I got a bit of trouble yeah. on the internet. Uh, Why? Got a bit of trouble with Brendan's favorite person, Sean Weatherspoon. <sighs> oh, Sean Weatherspoon. If you're here, the Sean legend. Weatherspoon. He's here. He's here today. Oh, it's smoke? Is it smoke? I have nothing to say about that. Oh, that's what I thought. I fuck, that's what I, I fuck thought. with it. Is that why you shaved? Because you didn't want to be like... Sean Weather's going to come what on the show. What is this? Sean is Is this drip flipper I say, I mean, the R4s are kind of cool. Wait, wait, but wait, if wait, you wait back up. What does this have to do with Sean Weatherspoon? Yeah. He, he, he talk, I, I said some shit that said that... You said some shit I that said, said some that? Shit that? How does that work? Nike shocks were never cool, and Sean Weatherspoon came on the, the internet comments and was all like, no, these shoes were awesome back in the day. Yada yada yada, and I was like, "Go fuck yourself." But um, uh, keep, the same, keep the same energy. But Nike shocks were never cool. Drake's so, trying way so too hard to be like a London skip? road man. No, yes, yeah, skip. Lena, what is Drake's outfit? I would drip. I would skip? drip in that. Yeah. What about you, Zach? <sighs> yeah, I, I can't co-sign shocks. Sorry. I'm gonna go flip. Yeah. Gonna go you flip. wear Nike shocks? To hoop in? I'm a hoopie, so this you don't quite, do any type yeah, of athletic stuff. Hoop. Hoop. You, don't, you miss out on well, a lot of life. You can go to Dick's Sporting Goods and get you some like, white you some Navy shots shocks and, and some cargo sports. shorts. I was shooting no. jump shots in Hibbert no. Sports. Moving forward, Lena, we got some of your outfits. Oh, we own you, girl. Oh, shit. All right, so what do we have on here? What, this set set this outfit up for me right here. Set the Jerry, mood board on this one. Jerry Lorenzo keeps me lazy. That's all fair of God. Fair of God, okay. Fair of God, head to toe. That's how we get down. This is like me dripping out of the shirts. This is just like, I like just like to have fun with like clothes. I saw like these Blockbuster shorts. I used to work at Blockbuster. Oh. Um, so Shout out to Blockbuster. If those, anybody doesn't yeah. know Blockbuster, is Google it. Yes, I will. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, y'all even know what Blockbuster Young punks. is. And then um, these off-white kicks that I saw my boy Rocky Fresh uh, rock and I was like, what are those? You so know? this is the drip. This, this is the drip. Is a, we got to go through the rankings. So for the first outfit, what do we all think? So for the first the first outfit, that's the drip because yeah. you wore it. Yeah. Ooh, so I'm, first outfit. These are all that, drips. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. So I, no, I I'll only give you the drip. drip. On okay. Brandon, the first outfit, drip. Yes. First I can't, outfit. I can't co-sign the big hat. That's just me. So it's a skip. I can't, so I can't do the hat thing. Only certain people can rock it. Only certain people can wear that hat. Come on, man. The first one's a skip. I think this one's a drip. Okay. I'm gonna go drip on. The first one, and I'm going to go skip on shirt. this one, but I love the Blockbuster shirts. You, you're you. skipping the second one? I, I'm feeling I drip, drip, two it's out of two. So that's such a full drip, that moment. Yeah, right the, the basketball shorts. Like, you definitely wore this outfit at one point. Okay. I don't know how you I love the shorts. Yeah. I wore the shorts. I definitely wore the shorts. <laughs> All right. Um, you still, like, when you put together outfits for these things, it's like the first day of school when you put, like, the, you know, like, the sneakers, like, on the bed with, like, the pants. And the outfit know, grid photo I above. Like. I wish I was that organized. <laughs> I, I got to do, I got to wake up, walk into my, my office slash closet and just see what speaks to me. That's what I do. We All right, do folks. Uh, before we get out of here, we do want to dip into the comment section. Of course, every week on the show, we take a look at the YouTube comments and see what people are saying over there. We have a couple insightful ones here yes, um, to read off. Not too many. Um, I think after that, we can take some crowd submitted ones actually. First thing we have here is from Gabriel Garcia on YouTube saying, now if that's official full size run merch, which which it is. <laughs> Go get the merch guys um, when it's available. Feel free to send me a box of mediums. I, can't, I don't have any full size run merch to give out. I'm sorry. Come do, on man, it's complex you? time. How you gonna buy it, just buy it. All right, just buy it. <laughs> We're gonna get it out. right. We're gonna get it right. <laughs> Bash Sneaker said, so entertained. There is literally no online show I enjoy more than this. Aww. So you got tough competition for, got for year one okay. coming up. Um, <laughs> this is brilliant. The chemistry between this lot is too much. LOL. Thank you, Ash right. Bash Sneakers, go, for that it. one. Are you done? I mean, hey, man. Yeah, people want to talk, man. Ooh. Let the people talk. That's a well just, so guys, I want, we want to open up the floor to you guys to ask us, comment on the show, ask a question for sure. Yeah, make it good, guys. You got the, you got, oh, real you got the unions. On. You got the unions on. Yeah, Supreme. Unions what? Top three. Top three. Right. Top three. Nice. Shout out to you for top three. Hey. Uh, I to know what up, Derek? Can we meet the editor? Um, I think the editor Matt Gian is in the building right now. Where if he wants he? to stand yeah, up and we can all clap for him. Come on now, come up here, bro. Oh, Make some noise for this guy, man. He kills yeah. it for us every fucking week. Basically, you, I like guys see, you guys see how boring it is in person, and you know how exciting it is to actually watch on YouTube. So he's he's the one uh, responsible for all that. Matt, thank you. Uh, the real stars of the show have to do their thing, so we appreciate it. <laughs> thank you, bro. Yes, sir.
Love the show. Thank you. Matt Pelosi. Yeah. Why do you always ask people if they resell shoes? Like, why do you do it? Isn't it, isn't it fun? I don't it's know. <laughs> isn't it fun? It's uncomfortable. It's <laughs> well, the first episode that happened, um, I think it's a good conversation. There's like a like, few, like, as like a journalist or whatever, a few, like, Oh, you, yeah, you just call yourself a journalist? Are you a journalist? Yeah, I'm a journalist. You're I'm a journalist. journalist. A journalist. He, journalist. he did his okay. research. He asked me good questions. Yeah, so uh, as a journalist, there's always like a couple, That's like, a journalist. Uh, there's a couple questions you always kind of keep in your head where you're like, this, you know, this one question is always going to get a good reaction. But I remember the first time I did it was the episode with Bun B. Mm -hmm. And like, I felt so out of pocket asking Bun B, who was an absolute legend if he's ever resold sneakers and that's why my reaction was all right and i he, like he was like why the fuck are you asking me this shit like, <laughs> i know i need to put some respect on my name which i probably should have i was whatever but hey keep it going so have you ever resold sneakers Hell uh, yeah, man. Come on. <laughs> How you this think man, I buy my like that? This man stays in stadium right. goods. How do you think I buy checks? Thank it's you, like brother. Thank you, sir. Any other questions for anybody? Young man, here, you want to come oh, to the got, mic? We got to come. Um, it's been entertaining to watch you guys every week. Just entertaining? Like, guys, Nothing more? Like, <laughs> educational? I mean, just break. know, as Life someone who's followed sneakers for years, and you guys all obviously know your shit, um, maybe go. it would be cool for you to go into depth on like sneaker shopping or another show on this at some point. Never heard of it. Shout out, Joe Puma. Two sentences or three sentences. How did you all get into shoes, or like, what do you find exciting in shoes? Like, love watching you guys every week, but it's like it would be cool, like, get some background. Colorways, bro. Colorways. When it comes to shoes, for me, that's one thing. Out of the many millions of things that we all have a perspective on when it comes to sneakers, low tops, whatever it is, for me, colorways. You can have a shoe, but you put the right colorway on something that you give it personality. And when personality is something that obviously matters to me. I like my shoes, my socks, my pants, my jewelry. Gucci my, socks. So, no, no, I so, you, with everything, that's that, that, that drip, bro. Yeah. Drip, drip, drip. Lena, Lena, how about you? Uh, how did you get into sneakers, and what is it the stuff that really excites you? Um, honestly, I think it was growing up in Chicago during Michael Jordan's reign. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that was like I it was it's just a great so, time. Yeah, it was it was a beautiful Jeez. time to be in Chicago, to be a kid, to, to be watching him like be at the top of his game. So that's what really got me into, I was always obsessed with him, and that's what really got me into shoes, and then it just grew from there. Well, what got you into shoes? Uh, me, like, grew up, like, being just a kid who was into, like, skateboarding and, like, underground You can skate? Yes. Okay. Uh, skateboarding, okay. underground hip-hop and all that sort of stuff, yeah. you know, that kind of just, like, really, like, like Stevie Williams' first shoe with DC really did it for me, Josh Kalis, those sort of guys, and then nowadays, um, just been doing shoes for Spish, so long. Yeah. To, as I long as to, Gary asked me. I go to, I go to a lot of football matches, um, you know, into the whole like casual culture and, and whatnot. So, me? Like that. what got you into sneakers, mm -hmm. sir? Um, just being a kid on the internet, you know, like early 2000s and just figuring out that there were different, uh, right. <laughs> like a you know, different strange pockets <laughs> where people were mustaches. obsessed with, with things that weren't in kind of the, the top level of culture and just you know, kind of digging into that stuff that really interests me now, you know, just like technical running shoes. I'm, I'm really into, you know, whatever, like the latest running shoes. Really Thank you, man. He's a familiar face. Uh, I've never hey. seen this guy before in my life. Uh, hi, don't know how many. Slade, long time fan, first time commenter. <laughs> yeah, hey. yeah, 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 I'm sure. I know you got crazy burner accounts, but whatever. Uh, I want to know, uh, what's, what's the beef with uh, Sean Witherspoon? Hello. Jacques Slade, come on the show. All right, thank you everybody for coming Thanks, out again. This yeah. is the season finale uh, special Complex Con live episode, and thank you everybody on YouTube for watching as well. Of course, there are millions of you. Um, this has been Full Size Run. I'm your co host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. My name is Lena Wade. Yo. Thank you, folks. Make some noise for yourself and our guests. <laughs> Woohoo! Also, also. Who wears size 11? Who wants to pair game more? Game more. Game more. Game more. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you walk off right there. Ah. Yeah, thank you, everybody. We really appreciate it. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. This is full size run. I need you to subscribe now, or I'll be forced to shave my mustache. This is full size run. I need you to subscribe now, or I will quit this motherfucker, man. Subscribe now or Trinidad James will have to freestyle again. Subscribe now or I have to get a real job. Subscribe now because I just want to buy Gucci socks and be great and live my best life, please. Thank you. I can support that. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, subscribe so Trinidad James can buy Gucci 